Hey, friends. I... I've been working with something and I'm well I guess as I talk about it you'll see it, it, it's like I don't I don't have a conclusion yet but but I've got a number of things showing up around practicing with Annalise. I had a long talk with my wife last night and we we were kind of looking at, at me and at my motivations for teaching my daughter music. And one of the things that came out Katie kind of asked me what my underlying motivation was. You know, what's my outcome? What's my what's my goal with this? And I gave a multi-part answer, but my but the first answer was, well, I want to see her have a really excellent develop a really excellent capacity for music um, and then I also really want her to love music to really enjoy making music listening to music and Katie pointed out that it was interesting that I gave those answers in that order in other words, that excellence was the first answer I gave. And it, her own enjoyment of it was the second answer that I gave. Because I think it's, you know, it's not... It's not insignificant that I have... A desire for excellence on her on somebody else's behalf which is a bit of a dicey thing right because if that's my motivation then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking for certain results and I might miss some things that are just a little more present moment, you know, connected to intrinsic motivation, joy, connected to joy. I might miss some of that stuff. And I, I had to sort of take that in, I take that recognition in, and then in some ways reevaluate and, and look at like, okay, what am I really doing here? And can I, can I actually let go of some of my own desires here, my own, you know, attachments here. Because what is very clear is that those do not serve my daughter. They don't really serve me, but they're, the, they're designed to, they're supposed to serve me. It's just that they don't, because that's not how it works. But they're my attachments and it's my needing something from this. And and 
and I've I have been I've looked th throughout this process I've been pretty um, pretty consistently reflecting on well okay where where am I inserting something of myself into this process where am I just creating space for us to do this together and for her to to lead it to to not necessarily lead the logistics but lead the energy and whenever i hit a phase where she seems in an in a fair amount of resistance that's when it's almost always when i also, when, if I take a look, then that's also when I'm becoming attached, becoming embroiled in my own version, my own, my own story about what should be happening, what is happening, etc. And... And so I'm I'm sitting with this because it's it's impo it's so important to me that I do this in a way that that creates a love of music. That's really ultimately that's the thing that produces excellence. It starts with love. And so even if the goal is excellence, you can't go straight for it. You gotta go, you gotta go through the doorway of love. And that you know, it's like I know this <laughs> and Take some wherewithal to to truly practice that to truly actually show up and, and and not not get pulled off course in that commitment and in that understanding. So you know, I woke up this morning and we had had the conversation last night and it was kind of fresh. And I and I almost felt like a kind of like a reset was happening and I was just letting go and we went and she played a recital played, a, she played one piece on these group these kind of they had recitals at UNM she played a piece we played a piece together played really well and I almost felt, you know, this is again a phenomenon of, of parenting that I've witnessed now over and over and over again. When I move to a, a new place of recognition, I, often it doesn't even need to be said out loud. I don't need to talk about it. We just move to the next phase of understanding. And I had a little bit of that feeling today, the sense of like, just like space, ease, and just a general lightness in the way that we interacted. So I was grateful for that. And then 
this entire picture shifted emphasis onto me and my own practice and my own background with music and practice and my own I don't know whether to call it a struggle or, or, or what, but my own wrestling with, with staying in a place of love because I, I have both, right? I have this pr profound love of music and I have a habituated approach that comes from a more kind of a place of being pushed. And I recognize that that's where I was. When I when I go off with Annalise, that's where I'm lean, I'm I'm going off in my own practice. It's my own connection to music that's going off. It's not just my teaching her it's what's it's what is living in me and what i'm allowing to live in me so <sighs> it's a big one but coming back to recognizing that it's all got to go through the doorway of love is kind of the starting place for it all so that's where i am today folks thanks for watching I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.